Hi everyone, it's Pebbles. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing my finale on Finish 5 by Fall. I know fall has been here for a little while now. I'm a little late on getting this out and I do apologize for that. Um, but here it is. So if you're interested in seeing what I finished, what I did, how it all worked out, then please stay tuned. All right, the first product that I said I was going to finish was my Quo. Um, it's a baked blush. It's made in Italy, and this is in the color Petal. This is a Canadian product line. Uh, Quo is a Canadian cosmetic line, and it can be purchased at Shoppers Drug Mart. This was completely domed, and um, well, mine had been flat. It wasn't really domed at the time that I started, but this is the metal part of it, and... This is just like the residue left over, but this is the color. I don't even know if you can really see it. It is kind of like orgasm, but really, I think I like this better than the orgasm from NARS. And this is the color right there. Let's see if I can show it on my skin. Really doesn't show up because there's nothing left. So I finished that. So happy. Never finished a blush. This was amazing. I have a backup of it because I love it so much. And if you are in Canada or you're going to be visiting Canada and you want to try out this blush, I highly recommend it. The next product was my Milani Quad. It's a cream shadow. This is in the color 03 Florence. I know some people here really love these. I couldn't stand them. I tried. See, I did put some dents in them. As you can see, I did try to wear these. They are sparkly. I find that they, that's the color there. They have a nice pigmentation, but they don't, they don't apply nice. They're hard to work with and they leave sparkles on your face. So I'm not a fan. These, that's the colors right there. Really rich, pigmented, but they are just not for me. Those are the colors there. Aren't they beautiful? Stunning. Stunning when you squ swatch them. Terrible when you wear them. So this is going to be going in the garbage. Um, <laughs> I used these for a couple of weeks. I did try, but this was a complete fail. And I would not, personally, I wouldn't recommend them. I'm sure there's people out there that love them, but not for me. When you see these swatches, it's like, oh my goodness, they're beautiful. I love it. They look metallic and blah, blah, blah. Horrible. Horrible. But again, that's just my opinion. <laughs> the next product was the Laura Mercier um, concealer. And I was saying that I have tons of concealer that I wanted to finish. And this was in the number two. It's the Secret Concealer. And la, I finished it. Look at that. Nice, eh? So I'm so happy that I finished this. And <laughs> I have... Um, repurchased this because I really liked it. I found that it did do a good job, um, but I have so much, like I purchased it a while ago thinking I didn't have it, not knowing that I had this one and I'm happy to finish this one. So yeah, I'm a concealer kind of freak. Right, let me see. No, I like everything, concealers, highlighters, everything. So anyways, this is done, got through that. Yay for me. The next one is another Laura Mercier concealer, and this was dual. It has the secret concealer as well as the secret camouflage. And I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, this is super old. I bought this in Vegas when I went with my girlfriends, and we had our whole makeup fit, um, redone. And, of course, they, you know, when you go to those counters, they do your makeup, and then they sell you on products. So this was super old. <laughs> I've got a little bit left, but I'm going to toss this because I think that I got my money's worth. I, I think I did a good job. So that, and you know what? Laura Mercier does make really good concealers. You do have to set them with something. I usually set them with like a, a yellow powder and that way they don't crease. So they will crease in fine lines and wrinkles, but you have to not like cake it on. You have to be kind of conservative when you're putting it in on underneath your eyes, but set it with the powder and you're good to go. The next product was this Josie um, Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gel. And I got this as a gift and this is in the color Pink Escape. And I was just, well, I didn't really, my intent wasn't to really finish this product. It was to use it because I got it as a gift and I wasn't using it. And I have to say, I did a good job because it was at the top of like the, the gel. 
was at the very top of this container. So I think I did a good job. Uh, I enjoy this product and I think it gives you a really nice flush to the cheeks. And I just dab my regular um, blush brush into it and then I, I tap it onto my skin. So I don't have it on today, but I really like this and yeah, it worked well. So I'm kind of glad I didn't finish this because I wanted to, I, I like to have it so I can wear it in the summer. I feel like this is a really nice summer color. So that's my update, guys. That's my finished five by fall. Um, I don't know if you want me to do one finished by winter, but I think that I'm too late to start that. So I'm going to wait and then start a winter one and finish by spring. So anyways, I hope that if you've done this challenge, let me know how you've done. If you have videos that you do, let me know um, that you did a video so I can come and check it out because I am behind on watching people's videos as well because I've been super crazy, busy, like hectic. But now I think that I might have some time on my hands, hopefully. We'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you are so inclined to do so. Because that kind of, I don't know, I think that helps. But yeah, I, <laughs> I think that's it. And now I'm rambling. So I hope you all have a beautiful day. And I will talk to you soon. Ciao for now.